Malaria is a serious and potentially life-threatening parasitic infection. It's caused by parasites in the genus Plasmodium that are usually injected into individuals through the bite of a mosquito. There are four main species that infect humans, of which Plasmodium falciparum is the most deadly. That would be followed to a lesser extent with Plasmodium vivax, which can cause deaths, but also causes quite severe disease. Plasmodium falciparum is the deadliest of the plasmodium parasites, but occasionally plasmodium vivax can also cause human fatalities, and all of the malaria species can cause quite severe disease. Malaria is usually transmitted through the bite of an infected Anopheles female mosquito. The parasite is actually injected into the bloodstream through the bite of the mosquito when she takes a blood meal. Less commonly, people can get infected with malaria through uh, transfusion, receipt of an infected blood product, or organ donation by receipt of an infected organ. Malaria is found in many parts of the world, mostly in the tropics and subtropics, although historically mis malaria was found in many other parts of the world. In fact, it was even found in the United States, and the mosquitoes that transmit malaria are still present in the U.S. today. The gold standard test for detecting malaria is conventional thick and thin blood films that are prepared onto glass slides and then looked at through a microscope. Therefore, every laboratory in the United States that sees patients that potentially have malaria should be able to provide testing locally. We offer confirmatory testing here at Mayo Clinic, but it should never be used as the initial test. It should only be used for confirmation. It's also important for physicians who are seeing patients in those areas to keep malaria in their differential diagnosis, even if the patient hasn't traveled outside of the US, at least for while this outbreak is occurring until it's contained. There is not currently a good preventative vaccine that is 100% effective for malaria, although there are a number of people working on vaccines, and there is a vaccine that's used in some parts of endemic areas that offers some protection against severe disease.